if you are in any way, shape or form seeing that you're starting to hit a ceiling or you're hitting a plateau with your business, find a group of entrepreneurs, find a group of people in your industry, set up a mastermind group, find a mentor, get in with one of those because the level of insight they can give to your business that you couldn't see because you're in it is huge. So we've been looking for a new office location for the London HQ and um, you know, it's really good power and proximity. I was a big, big, big advocate of the virtual office environment. Right? I did that in LA and it was great. But as I was trying to grow the business and as I was trying to get to that next level, it made a lot more sense to have um, all of the staff and everybody in the same location. So because our goal is to grow this business as quickly as, as possible, the team and culture are going to be so important. All right, so we're just gonna go find a quick cab. Uh, just got done seeing um, one Mayfair place. Beautiful building, I love it, beautiful building. And I do like it, I think it's, it's up to the top of my list at the moment in terms of the office spaces. One thing I will say, tip I will give you, right? If you're ever working with any type of salesperson, be it cars, uh, office space, go see them at the end of the month because the discounts, because they're trying to hit their commission numbers. Yeah, she threw in a very sweet deal as well. It's at the top of the list. What can I say? It's at the top of the list. So we've got two more places to see and then I'm going to make my decision on Saturday and we're going to pick the new London HQ. I'll just have a look to see if there are any driving entrances. Let's see, it doesn't look like I can drive in there. All right, we'll just get out here then. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Okay, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. A bit more casual today. Um, usually, you know me, any excuse to wear a suit, I love a good suit, but I've got to dress it down a little bit today, man, because damn, in London, man, it is hot as f Yo, this place is like a student campus or something. It's got a very uh, Google campus, like tech feel to it. It's a little bit closer than uh, the one in v Victoria, but I don't know. I just can't see. It might be that building over there. Oh, I like the vibe in here. I like the vibe in here. I was actually looking on the wall and seeing all the companies that are here. This could be. This could be it. This could be a nice one. Let's see how. Let's see what got, what they got available because that's important. And let's kind of see how they uh, how they do things here, how they operate, and if it's something that can really work with us. But I'm liking what I see so far. Yeah, I like it. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I do like it. Not the best vibe for a luxury business but that's the only thing holding it back everything else is great networking is great the space is great you know this type of stuff they're doing here is really really good i do like this place i just don't know if it's going to be the perfect fit maybe something temporary maybe something we use for a couple months or so but and we'll see we've got three or four more offices to look at probably make a decision by the end of the week it's really really important to immerse yourself in the environment of the business you're in because it's not just a matter of having the subject matter knowledge, right? Subject matter knowledge is great. It wasn't enough for, for my team to be together and be able to vibe off each other, but to be surrounded by other ambitious companies and businesses that were also growing and especially companies and businesses in all in the same environment. We can network off each other, we can give each other ideas, there's um, potential clients. Those environments are really, really conducive to growth. They fit the millennial entrepreneurial mindset that a lot of my staff have and I love them. And I think just immersing yourself in the environment of the business that you're in, there's an intangible that I add to, it adds a little X factor, and that X factor can't be underestimated how important it is. I joined this mastermind networking group called Supper Club, and today there is an event. Hey, so we're on our way to my very first Supper Club event. I have been looking forward to this for a while. A bunch of other social media entrepreneurs, CEOs, and we're gonna discuss using content to sell, which is one of my favorite stuff to talk about. So that's gonna be fun. And the invite list, and it looks good, man. It's very high level, very successful people. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to talk to you after the event. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Um, so just got back from dinner and I just wanted to really talk through some of my thoughts about my first ever supper club event. I I'm impressed, man. I kind of want to tell you why I think it's really, really important to be part of groups like this. 
Um, I, I, you know, I'm part of many, many masterminds, right? And masterminds, you know, there's some I've paid 25,000 for, there's some I've paid 100 grand for, there's some that I've been in for free, but all of the biggest breakthroughs in my business have come from mentors and masterminds. And usually mentors combine with a mastermind because usually my mentors are holding masterminds. And as soon as I moved to London, the first thing I said was like, I need to find a group of high level business owners, entrepreneurs, rock stars, people that are like way beyond me that I can learn from and I can also give back to as well. A good friend of mine, he started up his company seven years ago, they're crushing it, you know, he's about to exit from that company soon and he's part of this group that he told me to join. And I just went to the first event, dinner tonight, it was about content marketing. So what was great is that I was really able to contribute at a very high level um, because you know, we are knee deep in content marketing, social media, but it was great. If you're at that level and you're stuck between like six, you know, if you're at the six figure level and you feel like you haven't been able to break through, get new clients, um, scale your business, hire the right team. If you're at that level, a lot of the time, it's not necessarily more hard work. That's kind of when the intangibles start to come through because hard work will get you to six figures, right? But then you start to need a strategy. This is when mentors help you out. This is when having the right team, having a mastermind, having a peer group, that kind of stuff really, really, really helps. Again, I was really impressed with the group tonight. It was really, really, really high level. Everybody was super um, helpful. And not just that, made some really phenomenal connections moving forward. If uh, this, is, this goes for everybody in business, but if specifically, if you're kind of like, you know, stagnating a little bit or you've hit a ceiling at like six figures and, or seven figures and you're trying to really scale to that next level, get with a mentor or get with a group of other high level people in your industry that are way beyond you and create a mastermind group. Like start working together because those other eyes on your business, that's the kind of thing that you, you, know, you wouldn't see but having someone else look at your business and say, hey, you know, tr try this or change this, that's the kind of thing that can give you a breakthrough. Um, example today, one of the guys there, he runs one of the biggest agencies in the UK. And he just made a, co a couple comments to me about how big brands make decisions. And that's changed my entire outlook, right? Just that one comment. Because, you know, he's worked with so many big brands. And so he has the insight to say, hey, you know, these brands with 10, 20, 30 million dollar marketing budgets, you know, they make different decisions very differently to, you know, brands with one million dollar marketing budget or a hundred grand marketing budget. If you are in any way, shape or form seeing that you're starting to hit a ceiling or you're hitting a plateau with your business, find a group of entrepreneurs, find a group of people in your industry, set up a mastermind group, find a mentor, or create your own one, right? Create your own mastermind group if you can't find one that already exists, but get in with one of those because the level of insight they can give to your business that you couldn't see because you're in it is huge. So we've been back now for a few weeks, back in the UK, and we are you know, steadily pursuing our business objectives. And I think we're definitely on track. You know, we've, hit, we've um, already hit some good targets in terms of um, the amount of clients that we're meeting, the amount of clients that we're seeing. And, you know, our target that we're on, um, I'll keep it a secret for now, what our actual target is, um, that's just between my team and I. But it's been a very, very productive couple of weeks and I think that the momentum is starting to build. I can see it. I can see it in the energy of my team. I can see it in the outcomes that we're getting. I can see it in the responses that I'm getting from potential clients and prospects. We're in the right spot, we're on the right track and I'm really, really, really excited about the future. I mean, this is only the second episode of this vlog. What we're seeing in terms of the traction that we're picking up, yeah, I'm really excited.